What's up guys, hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Welcome to the new tech video and welcome to the new channel. In this 2023 era, you need to have an inbuilt stabilization for your cameras. Most of your smartphones does come up with inbuilt stabilization which gives you smooth, amazing looking footages. You don't really require a squeaky, quirky or shaky footages, do you? Neither do I. So video stabilization is very important for you guys to give a smooth looking footage. Now many of the smartphones does come up with inbuilt stabilization but what about your DSLRs or mirrorless cameras? Well, why I'm talking about stabilization is because DJI has announced its latest gimbal that is RS3 Mini. DJI has its successors RS3 and RS3 Pro which are super successful gimbals. They are used for pro users. This video is not a review video but this video will let you know why this particular gimbal is made and to whom it is specifically targeted. Now if you are someone who is a traveler, filmmaker, vlogger, youtuber, instagrammer and you don't have any team and you do it everything by yourself then this gimbal is for you. You can think about it because this particular gimbal also handles the latest and greatest and heaviest cameras as well. I have my Sony a7S3 with 16 to 35 mm G master lens and this particular gimbal will definitely hold this because it will allow the weight up to 6.6 .6 lbs that is approximately 3 kgs. That's insane right? For such a small compact gimbal this thing is next level. This also comes up with latest and greatest inbuilt stabilization features and also its motors have great torque. This gimbal comes with joystick so it is easy to use. You can go and switch between the settings. You can also use the touch screen which is provided but it's quite small compared to other successors like RS3 or RS3 Pro and it comes with different operation modes. You can use tilt locked, lock mode, FPV and a lot of other operations. And hey, last but not the least, the greatest and the best option which is provided in this particular gimbal is vertical mode shoot. It is easy to go and flip between normal mode and from the vertical mode. So you can go and shoot for your Instagram videos, shoot for Instagram stories. You can make reels and make better videos as well. Even though you have this vertical option, you have to remove the bracket, a normal bracket and then switch between the vertical and the normal one. It might be a hassle but what I've seen in the videos, it looks a little bit easier but i'm not sure about it but this is not the review video so i'm not going to comment anything on that but you got to know why and for whom this particular gimbal is made for i hope you enjoyed this particular video and if you're new to this particular channel consider subscribing and hey thank you for joining us and see you in my next video